Hi folks, Chris Foss here from the ChrisFossShow.com. We're at the Anello booth at 10742 in North Hall. I'm here with Mario. Mario, how are you doing today? Good, nice to meet you, Chris. Pleasure to meet you as well. Uh, so give us your title, tell us what you guys do here. So my name is Mario Panicci. I'm the co-founder and CEO of Anello Photonics. What we're doing here, what we announced yesterday, is the world's first silicon photonics optical gyro. Wow. So. We call it SciFog for short, Silicon Photonics Optical Gyro. And what this is, is essentially, it's fiber gyro performance mm -hmm. on a chip. Wow. So we're building this with integrated photonics. Mm -hmm. And so first thing you ask is what a gyro is. So everyone has a gyro, gyro measures position, rotation. Mm -hmm. You have one in your phone, right? When you pick up your phone and you rotate ear pods, it has a gyro in there that senses motion but it's not very accurate. Okay. So for the autonomous market, if you want accuracy, what people really use is fiber gyro technology. Okay. That's big, bulky, and expensive. I mean, $50,000, $100,000. This is what's in tactical grade, submarines, air fighters. So if you want to take that to the autonomous market, drones, robots, automobiles, trucking, it's too expensive. Mm -hmm. So what we've done is we've taken the same performance in a fiber gyro or a fog, fiber optic gyro mm -hmm. and put it all into the small form factor. In this box, this unit is the laser, the electronics, the lock and amplifier, the silicon photonics, and the waveguide and the fiber. Wow. So this is the world's there's smallest. A lot, there's a lot in there. So if you come over here, we actually have one running. Okay. And I'll let's talk check about the application. Sure. So this is we had a press release yesterday. If you go online at our website or you can look up Anello, we did a press release where our partner, Tower, the CEO of Tower Jazz Semiconductor, mm -hmm. uh, who's been our partner from the beginning. We've been creating this fiber, this waveguide-based technology. So this is a SciFog running. So what you actually see here, it's just rotating back and forth. But it's a small unit, and you actually see it as it rotates. It's not that impressive by itself, but we'll, I'll show you later in full solutions. And data is taken in. So what you actually see here is this, the, the gyro moving, rotating back and forth. But it's all running on a small unit put onto a PCB board that can be surface mounted, and more importantly, all this can be scaled to high volume. Wow, that's right? crazy. So, if you come over here, I don't know if you can see this in your camera, this is one of our photonic chips. This is a chip that's lit up with red light. If you go in there, this is a, we created a planar waveguide on a chip. So this is a low loss, we call it silicon nitride, it's a technical term, mm -hmm. but we've essentially created fiber waveguides on a chip. That chip right there, it's lit up with red light, in the actual system, it's infrared. There's 22 meters, 22 meters on this chip wow. of little tiny light waveguides that can that guide the light. They're a couple microns wide, hundreds of nanometers thick, and that allows us to the benefit of integrated photonics. These are the same processing that's used in semiconductor. Wow! So they're printed in wafers, and you can scale those and now chip, package, and assemble them. So. These are the core technologies, and I'll take over to the systems. Okay. So this is an example of our evaluation kit. I'm gonna go get a evaluation kit. Do you have some wafers? Do you have some wafers you can think? Yeah, you can get a wafer. So this is our evaluation kit. Okay. So what you have in here, this is a, we have different outputs, Ethernet, CAN bus, and USB. Inside here, we have our fiber gyro technology. We have dual GPS for uh, GPS signaling. We have a CPU. Maps, accelerometer, gyros, and we have our own sensor fusion software. Wow. And this is for drive data. So you can put this for land vehicles. As you're driving, there's a high precision optical gyro that's the heading. So when you're driving, 90% of the performance is in the drive axis. Okay. We now take this, and when you see up on the screen here, if you come over here, and you can see in our website, this is actually, let me just hold it up. Uh, this is our wafers. Holy so crap. So, you actually see in there, Whoa. you see the waveguides? These, mm -hmm. these are these are fiber waveguides that we developed on a planar process, and they're all integrated on a chip, right? So it gives you a sense of the ability to manufacture this technology in high volume. That's why. Put this back. And so then we take drive data. This is an example of the same thing. We do it, maybe you can zoom in on this. Okay. Maybe you can see, I don't know if it, you can see, you see the outside is the waveguide, mm -hmm. and then in the middle, you see those little rings? Mm -hmm. Those are our next generation devices. Wow. So we can even go smaller. By, That's crazy this how is small it's what getting. That, yeah, it's, and actually what's really exciting about those things is 
we talk about autonomous for trucking, construction, drones. When we go to those smaller dimensions, mm -hmm. what it opens up is consumer electronics. Oh, wow. Phones, watches, something yeah. in the future, by the ability to shrink this, but still use the optical technology. The real benefit of optical versus MEMS is it's not susceptible to vibration, it's not susceptible to temperature, or EMI, electromagnetic in in interference. So this is a very stable, solid technology that's predominantly only been used for the high-end military that we're gonna bring to the mass market. This is awesome, man. So this is you. You know, the military used to have access to. This, we have you know, a lot of we consumers. have a lot of interest uh, now from DoD and customers, and you know their performance is a little higher, but we'll actually have a version of this, and it's really about GPS denied. Mm -hmm. So if you look at areas today, and the military is fighting in places where they're jamming GPS, so all the precision guided missiles don't work anymore because they depend on GPS. But if you have a high precision gyro that can be put into a small form factor. It's not dependent on GPS, it's dependent on itself. Wow. So you now can operate in GPS denied environments. That's crazy. What you see here is drive data that you watch. This is our system, we're driving around in a car and we're basically comparing our systems to high-end performance systems. And you'll see pretty soon as we start driving that in different cases such as tunnels, uh, downtown San Francisco, parking garages, that you actually see how we so quickly outperform competitors. Wow. And you see here on the, the, the arrows showing us the light blue is the Nello, and we have different cases, short drive distance, and you see how already, because of the and GPS denied, these inferior solutions, they start to drift. And the blue is pretty accurate. We're actually at sub, sub one meter over five, you know, this case 250 meters. We've done 20 minutes, 30 minutes. We've gone as long as an hour and a half up through the mountains in Blacksburg, Virginia with very high accuracy. And this is all based on the fact of being in a high performance optical gyro capability into a small form factor that can be used in autonomous vehicles, autonomous drones, uh, things that were price points before didn't allow that. There you go. So uh, who's your customers? Who, who are the people you want to be talking to at CES? So at CES, uh, we have different applications. So let's go over here first. Okay. So this is now commercial. These are our commercial products. So this is now a sealed solution where we have it's an auto grade connector, so it's oh, wow. fully sealed, waterproof, salt spray, hermetically. Um, it has dual GPS antennas, and this can withstand outdoors. So now we talk about customers if we're dealing with construction, uh, Caterpillar, John Deere, all the big construction companies. It's a very harsh environment, not just with vibration, but dirt, salt spray, drones, aerial mapping. Uh, a lot of, I'll call it defense applications where they fly things back and forth. Um, robots. This is an example of a robot for indoor. Um, this is a robot that we just started testing with that goes very slow, but we monitor our EVK, we can put LiDAR on it, but if you're doing indoor fire and rescue, uh, any place GPS denied, a lot of applications where people go into at buildings, uh, printers where they're now in concrete buildings that have no access to GPS but you want accurate positioning. Mm -hmm. We now have an ability to give you technology that allows very accurately where you're at mm -hmm. in without GPS. So once wow. you know and so it's basically because of the cost, price points and the volume capability and size, we can now start taking these things into not just high end autonomous applications, but anything that wants accuracy, bringing the same kind of accuracy that was only for the high performance, now to the mass market. Wow. So these are all land vehicle applications, things that move, things that drive. There's one more application. Okay. Things that fly. Ah, so things now, that fly. things that fly, this is three axes. So inside here, we actually put three of these, X, Y, Z, oh, wow. and now you have a full three axis IMU, this is the world's smallest optical gyro that has three full axes. This crap. also has um, anything that flies. Because of the size, weight, area, power benefits, so now you're talking about EVITALs, electronic flying vehicles, drones that do aerial mapping. The benefit is not just the accuracy, mm -hmm. size and weight. A lot of these electronic vehicles want to go farther distances and weight matters, performance matters. And so this now 
you know, what we call here, we're basically changing the navigation. The way people think about navigation, we want to bring high precision, high performance, accuracy to the mass market. There you go. So that's what we do with Anello, and that's what we do with, we call it Anello Photonics, but Anello means ring in Italian because we're using lasers in a ring-like configuration. There you go. Well, thank you very much. Where can people look up this on the interwebs? So if you go to www.anellophotonics.com mm -hmm. and you'll see the recent press release, uh, you'll see the announcement on the SciFog. We have a very high powerful list of investors, strategic investors. We have some uh, personal investors that will be coming out later this year mm -hmm. that we're waiting for the right time. Some of them want to come out publicly on stage. Uh, it's a really exciting time. We're the customer interest. We just came out of Stealth Mode. So this is, we've been quiet for the last two years and we're now coming out, now we're only our technology focused solutions, focused products, and uh, any interest, we'd love to talk to more customers and www.nellophotonics.com. There you go.